What's up guys, Hera Gaming here And in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a mod looking outfit using multiple clothing glitches So in my point of view this outfit I'm going to be showing you guys how to make is one of the best ones and looks very modded But without further ado, let's jump straight into it Okay, so the first step is to have one friend in a roster created race so it does not matter which one and make sure he is also in your group chat party. So after you guys have done all that, you guys want to start up the adversary mode till death do us. It does not matter what part it is, so make sure you have one friend sitting in the roster creator race. And he is also in your group chat party. So I started till death do us part 1 and make sure you guys put one round so it can be faster. And after that you guys just want to invite random people or your other friends, it's up to you guys. And once you guys are ready, you guys just want to launch it up and you guys can join other teams, it depends what color you want. So I got orange, but it doesn't really matter. All you guys want to do is finish up the mission, it does not take that long and it's not that boring. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to save this outfit and it's basically the same method to the police outfit and all those. So once it starts up, you guys just want to finish it up, it does not matter if you guys lose or win. But as I said, make sure your friend is in the roster created race and he's in your group chat party. So once it's over, you guys just want to accept all these screens, so just like the job or dislike it. But once you guys are here, you guys want to go over to your party settings and you guys want to join the friend that's in the roster created race. So just join him and then you guys want to go back to this screen and just spam X in the first job. And keep in mind, this might not work in your first try, but it should. And once you guys get this alert screen just accepted, that means you guys are doing it correctly. So it should load you guys into your friend's roster created race. So once you're here, you guys simply want to back out as soon as possible. And if everything is done correctly, as you guys can see, you guys will spawn with the outfit. So all you guys want to do is save it in the clothing store as soon as possible. So another cool part about it is that you guys can take off and keep the tie as you can see all you have to do is put on a utility vest and take it off. So you guys have to do this for this outfit so once you guys do it you guys want to save it as an outfit with only the tie and no shirt. But as you can see it can also glitch out through other t-shirts so that's pretty cool but make sure you guys save it with no shirt and the tie. So once you guys have it like this, like I have it, you guys just want to Register as a bodyguard, so tell your VIP friend to invite you And you guys want to select the red high coverall This one right here, and you guys want to save it as an outfit so we can do the invisible torso and arms So as it says save this outfit and make sure you are bodyguard so tell your VIP friend to invite you So after you guys got that part, you guys want to put on the outfit with the glitch tie first of all So there's this one right here, and don't worry I'll show you guys how to get that helmet right now but you guys first want to put this one on and as I said make sure the VIP invites you to be a bodyguard and you guys want to accept it so after you guys are in you guys want to put on the red heist coverall alright once you guys are wearing it you guys want to go down to gloves and go one to the left and now you guys want to tell the VIP to switch your guys outfits two to the left and two to the right and as you guys can see you will get this so all he wants to do now is dismiss you and time one he dismisses you so after that you guys want to switch your gloves one more time to the left. So after all that you guys want to back out and resave the outfit. And now to get the flight school helmet you guys want to select the black or green suit it does not matter. And you guys want to go over to your personal vehicle make sure it does not have the doors like this internal or it will not work. So after that you guys want to open your interaction menu and hover over the tie outfit we're making with the invisible torso and arms. Now you guys want to go over to none in the top and get in the car and once he sits down click on the outfit. And keep in mind it might not work in your first try because it's all about timing but as you guys can see I got it right there. So all you want to do is go and resave the outfit. And now I'll show you guys how to add a mask to this and you guys can even add the night vision goggles to make it better afterwards. So you guys want to select any mask you like, you guys do not have to save it as an outfit, just put it through your interaction menu. And you guys want to do the hat mask glass glitch with the telescope when you run to it, press right d-pad and then open your interaction menu once it glitches out. So once it glitches out, 
you just simply want to go over to your outfits and select the outfit. And after that, you guys want to walk a little bit, and then the mask will glitch onto it. And once the mask glitches onto it, as you guys can see, you guys just want to resave the outfit. So now for the duffel bag, you guys want to select any outfit that has a duffel bag already. And you guys want to get into any helicopter, and you guys want to fly up. So once you guys are high enough, you guys want to jump off and open your parachute right away. And open your interaction menu and hover over the tie outfit we're creating. And now try to land as safe as possible. And once he's taking the parachute off, just click X on the outfit. And as you guys can see, it should transfer to this one. So just resave it. So as you guys can see, afterwards, this outfit looks very cool and modded. But that's basically it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. It really helps me out. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe so you guys won't miss any future content. And thanks a lot for 6,000 subscribers. I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving me lately. So thanks a lot. But that's basically it. It's been Hera Gaming. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.